I have been asked by more than one, being the number two uh, of my wonderful subscribers, to uh, show uh, Michael Spivak's Calculus and Manifolds and do a review of it. I am not qualified to do a review on this book at all, but I can show it. I can show it. And I can also show Analysis of Manifolds by Moncris. I'll page through them, show the table of contents. I believe I may have shown this book back in the Baby Rudin project. It's one of the books that I was going to do. Uh, I never got to it. Uh, but really, really, what this video is also going to need is uh, showing several of the differential geometry books. In my case, uh, that I have at my disposal. In my case, if and when, or when, I hope that I have the health and the time to do it, when I get around to doing vector calculus, there's, I'm probably going to do Marston and Trumba. I should have dragged that book in, but I'm, I have a video of it coming out at some point in the near future. Uh, it's a very basic vector calculus book. I could have also taken the, the vector calculus part of Thomas and Finney and review that. That's what I plan to do. And then I'll probably mix in a little bit of complex analysis, uh, just because there's some topological features in, in, in complex analysis that are interesting. Uh, but then I would have to do a differential geometry course, very similar to what I'm doing right now with linear algebra. So it would involve multiple differential geometry books. That's the way that I like to do it. And then, then and only then would I land on these two books. And I don't think I would do just Michael Spivak's book. I actually would do both of these books uh, just because uh, Munkers, Munkers' book has a lot more content. I mean, it's just a thicker book. And I have found the times that I've tried uh, to read Michael uh, Spivak's book, it's just very tight. I mean, he's great, of course. I mean, he only wrote a uh, five-volume sequence on differential geometry. And I'm moving around uh, with my pile of books that I have. And I have made videos of these two books. Uh, and I'm going to link to, to them in, this, in the description. So uh, I'm sure that I'll go through, I'll, I'll use these books. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through them. I think it's a pretty tough road uh, for someone to go through these books. I will, I'm sure I'll try. Uh, so that's, that's the problem that I'm having. And actually, I, I forget in which book of these, maybe it's in volume one, Michael Spivak himself describes the situation with uh, differential geometry that is a problem. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's somewhere in here. Yeah. So, so what, what he describes at some point is how there are many different ways to do differential geometry. And so, uh, not many, many, but like three or four. And so it's just a field that lends itself to you take a book on differential geometry, you learn it, and then you go to another book and all the terms are different, or some of the terms are different. So anyways, I'll get to these books first. I'll, throw, I'll show the uh, table of contents for each one. I can do that now. And I'll show some differential geometry books very briefly, uh, because again, I'm nowhere near the point in my timeline where I'll be able to do either one of these books justice or any of the differential geometry books justice. But, you know, be that as it may, I can show the books. All right, so let's just go through uh, Michael Spivak's uh, Calculus and Manifolds. And I'm going to zoom in because it's a smaller book, and I better remember to zoom out because I always forget. Okay, so the book itself, uh, back from the Advanced Book Program, uh, this is a 1998 uh, printing. So, I mean, this is really considered a booklet, which it, it, that's, that f that's a fair description. Yeah, and you can stop these as I page through in case you want to read it. I'm going to go slowly through these pages. So, I mean, this is all about getting out, getting down to the n-dimensional Stokes theorem. That's what really this book is about. And so it's got Euclidean space, differentiation. I went too fast through that. Integration, integration of chain on chains. Hello, uh, topology. <clears throat> so yeah, by the time I do this book, I would have done uh, Munkris uh, topology. 
and one, two, or three differential geometry books, and a little revisit to complex analysis. All that before I go back to this. And then, of course, the main theme, integration of manifolds, and, of course, Sto uh, Stokes' theorem on manifolds, page 122. I'm going to go right through it. I'm going to go through this book. It's very s small, so I can do a lot of it. Uh, so there you have it. That's where um, he proves the n-dimensional um, fundamental theorem of calculus, which is uh, Stokes' theorem. There it is. And, of course, uh, I would also, by this time, would have liked, I think I would like to do, is go through... Chapter 11, I think it's the very last chapter of Baby Rudin, for sure, because that chapter is really a retelling of this story of this book. Uh, it uses a lot of differential geometry. And this book, of course, uses a, a lot of differential geometry. Uh, there are problems. Okay, there are no answers to any of the problems. Um, I, I find the notation is, is fine. I mean, I've, I've gone through this book briefly. There it is, our friend, the Heim Borel theorem. But yeah, I, I find this book uh, very, very concise. I would have to do a lot of homework in other books before I landed in this book. That's just my opinion. I mean, hit me in the comments to see what you think. Uh, maybe somebody's got a better idea than what I have. You know, he's got some proofs. More problems. The book's got a lot of problems, which is really good. Uh, and of course, again, it's it's Spivak. I mean, he only wrote a five-volume uh, treatise on differential geometry. So if there's somebody in the world who understands this material, it better be this guy. And that's why this book is so uh, in demand. Inverse function theorem. And I think I may have even used this book for that video that I did a long time ago. The implicit function theorem. I think that's the one that I, uh, that I talked about. And I may have brought these books out for that. So there's, there's um, Spivak, and then in the case of Munkris, and I'm going to zoom out, and I did remember, and I'm going to leave it way out because I'm going to bring in some of the differential geometry books that I have, uh, and this is going to make this, book, uh, this video a little longish, but there's a lot to it. There's a lot to these two books. So uh, there's a preface if you want to read it. It's the proof of Stokes theorem. That's that's what these two books are all about, and uh, you can see the uh, how you get around to doing the whole book differential forms. There they are. So the algebra and topology of R to the n, differentiation, integration, change of variables, manifolds, differential forms, and Stokes theorem. So if we go all the way to page two seventy five. Of course, this book has more words. Sometimes people say <clears throat> that uh, Spivak's book is better than this one. I would do both of them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take the chance of. Uh, I would. I would do it in stereo. So, yeah, Stokes' theorem, the proof. And if you look at the di this book is rich on diagrams. Of course, Munkris with his topology book is really good at diagrams. Uh, but again, it's got exercises, but no answers in the back. So that's something that I think it dings uh, both of these books. Yeah. So there is Munkris, and I'm not going to page too much through it, but I'll show a few because I want to have time to bring in the army of differential geometry books that I have. And it is a small army. I think I overdid it with the differential geometry books. All right, so I'm done with these two books. I'm going to bring in, of course, the, uh, the, the classics are the books by Spivak. And I, I am put off by the font. You know, it's just a typewriter. But that does not mean that I can not read this book. So I will try 
uh, when I delve into differential geometry. Now the question for you, for anybody watching this video, is how much differential geometry do you want to do to be able to understand the, uh, either Spivak's book or Munkers' book? Uh, that depends on you. In my case, as you all know from looking at my channel, I like to go all in. Now this, uh, this book is fantastic. I've shown it before, I believe. I believe I have. It's got great figures and lots of, uh, of explanations. Not, not heavy on the problems. It's got some problems. It doesn't have answers. Of course, as I say that, there's actually 34 problems. So actually, it is, it is better than, than I'm saying it is for problems. But it definitely uh, goes crazy on beautiful figures, great explanations. So I'm pretty sure I would read from this book. I would love to someday cover this book. Uh, too many books, too little time, of course, but look at this. this. This book is a joy. Just so beautifully done. Then, of course, there's the classic by Do Carmo, okay, which I hear is a must-read for anybody wanting to understand uh, differential geometry. And, of course, at some point in time, I will make videos about all of these books when I'm into differential geometry, but right now, since I'm not, and I'm in my linear algebra period, just like Picasso had a blue period, uh, that I'm really not doing justice to any of these books, any of these great books. But from what I have been told, this is a classic of differential geometry, and so definitely a must read at some point in time for anyone wanting to go all in, as I like to do for, my, for myself. Of course, the introductory book that I have, and I have to drop something, as always, there we go, uh, is this one. And this is a much of a, more of a little bit of a lower level. So this would probably be the very first differential geometry book that I would do. Okay, O'Neill's book from UCLA. Because it is uh, a uh, small step, like the way that I always describe my steps of not wanting to get on a on a staircase where the first step is eight foot tall. Uh, this would probably be the first book that I would do just to get my uh, feet wet with all the terminology. Yeah. Yeah, so I would do this book. And then, of course, there is a, uh, a one of those uh, last but not least uh, this really beautiful book from Springer uh, by Tapp. So I'm pretty sure that I would love to do this book, not because of all the pretty colors, but I have uh, taken a quick look at it before, like a year, year and a half ago, and uh, it seemed to have a lot of the basic things that I want to learn from differential geometry. But yeah, this field is, is uh, blessed with a wide range of books. Uh, with lots of really beautiful diagrams. So I'm showing this slowly so you can see it if you want to if you want to read it. Yeah. So it's another elementary text. So I'm I, I am not at, at a loss for books on the subject. I'm only at a loss for time uh, to do them all justice. Uh, but definitely, uh, this is a to-do in the long-term future for me. 